In this video, we're going to learn how to add resistors in series and parallel, and we're going to learn where the formulas that we're using for it come from. So let's say that we have two resistors in series like this, R1 and R2, and what defines them being in series is that they share a single node with each other. They're connected to each other at one end, and no other resistor or other element is connected here. So how do we turn these two resistors into a single resistor? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box around this set of two resistors. And we know that in inside this box, there's some current that's going to be flowing. And the, the same current is going to be flowing out of the box because it has nowhere else to go. And that is the same current as fl is flowing through resistor one. And that's the same current that's flowing through resistor two. So I1 is equal to I2, which is equal to the current flowing through this entire box. Now, what about the voltage across this entire box, V? Well, that voltage is just the sum of the voltages across the individual resistors, so V1 and V2. So if I write that out in equation form, V is equal to V1 plus V2. Now we know that resistors are objects that obey Ohm's law, that is V is equal to I times R. Another way of writing Ohm's law is that R is equal to V over I. So if we know what the total voltage is and we know what the total current is, we can divide them to create a resistance. So if we do that for these two resistors, we get that R is equal to V which we just said was V1 plus V2, divided by I, which is just, well, I. Uh, it's the same current as is, the same current is flowing through all of the resistors here. And this is equal to V1 divided by I plus V2 divided by I. And notice that this is just the resistance of our first resistor. This is just R1. And this is just the resistance of our second resistor. So the overall resistance of this element, of this new composite resistor, is the sum of the two resistances, R1 plus R2. And the reason for that is that the voltage is the sum of the individual voltages for the resistors, and the current is the same all the way through. Now I've drawn them here as being vertical, but series resistors can also be drawn horizontal. They can be drawn with one horizontal and one vertical. They can even be drawn in absolutely ridiculous ways like, you know, this, for example. These two resistors are still in series. What matters is that they're connected at one node and that nothing else is connected to that node. So these are all examples of resistors in series, but this is not an example of resistors in series because there's a resistor, con an extra resistor connected at where these two join, these two resistors are no longer in series. So that's all fine and good. And we can play a very similar trick for resistors that are in parallel. So if we have a resistor R1, and a resistor R2, and they're in parallel with each other, which means they're connected not at one ends, but at both of their ends, then we can do exactly the same trick. We can draw a box around it, and we can figure out, okay, does this box behave like a single resistor? And if so, what is its value? So all we need to do is figure out the voltages and currents across and into each of these resistors. Now, in this case, we've got a, a current flowing in to this equivalent resistor I, but that current gets split into two different branches. So it gets split into current through resistor one and a current through resistor two. And in general, we don't know what these are. They might, they, they could be anything at this point, as long as they add it up to I. And so the same current is going to be flowing out of this box as into this box. Now, what about the voltage? Well, in this case, our voltage on the left-hand side and our voltage on the right-hand side 
you might notice are exactly the same. So the voltages, because the resistors are connected at the top and the bottom, that means that the electric potential at the top is the same and the electric potential at the bottom is the same. So the voltage across the resistors is the same. So the voltage is equal to, or the voltage V across our new resistor is just equal to V1, which is equal to V2. And the current through our new resistor I is equal to I1 plus I2. And that's just Kirchhoff's current law because the current has to be, it has to go into either I1 or I2. Has, and the sum must be equal to the current flowing in. Now we can play exactly the same trick that we did before. We know that the resistance is equal to the voltage, or sorry, the voltage divided by the current. And so if we just blindly plug stuff in, we'll see that that's equal to V1, or just V, divided by I1 plus I2. Now, it's not really obvious how we decompose this into R1 and R2, but if we were to flip everything, then we could very easily separate stuff. So if we instead take one over R, that's equal to I1 over V plus I2 over V. And this on the left is just equal to one over R1 because it's the current over the voltage. And on the right, this is one over R2. And so for adding resistors in parallel, I have a new rule. It's not that they add just like the sum of the resistance, but it's the inverse of the resistances that add together or their conductances that add. So one over R, which is my equivalent single resistor, is one over R1 plus one over R2. Now, just as with the series resistors, I drew these as being vertical and connected to each other, but series resistors don't have to be drawn that way. They can be drawn like this, they can be drawn horizontal, they can be drawn in some weird fashion, like this, sort of in a diamond-like shape, or they can be drawn in something, you know, an absolutely horrible contortion, like meh, meh, and then like this. Or sorry, in this case, the other wire should be coming out here. In all cases, these resistors are in parallel. So what matters is that they're connected to each other at both ends. Finally, I'd like to thank all my patrons on Patreon. Your support is greatly appreciated and it is you who makes these videos possible. If you aren't currently a patron, to get early video access, behind the scenes footage, exclusive content, and join a like minded community, click the link on screen or in the description below. Thanks for watching.